welcome to a vlog and if you are new here hi my name is alicia and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel you can hit the red button down below and become a part of the fam i can't believe it is the end of september already those words are coming out of my mouth <laughs> yes as you know, I do monthly reset on my channel. So I hope that you join me on this journey and we can keep each other. These are the categories that I break down my reset into. There's YouTube, there's personal, there's savings, there's fitness, and there is career. So let's tackle, let's just recap for the month of September. I will be li listing the template for this sheet that I got below and I hope that you utilize it to the best of your ability. So what I did was I went on Canva and I wrote some things down. I wrote some things down. So the first thing that we're going to get into is YouTube. The goal for September was to hit 975 five subscribers and let's just measure in. We hit 1,030 subscribers. Right now we're sitting at 1,030 subscribers. That is so excellent and the reason why i decided to keep going with the monthly reset is because it's like manifestation the more i talk about it the more i put it out there it's coming through so another thing that i have on my list here is more engagement from youtube i definitely seen um more engagement this month and i'm really thankful for that um I'm thankful. So when you drop a comment, when you leave a emoji, I just want to let you know I'm super thankful. Um, so increase watch hours. Yes, I did increase my watch hours um, this month because I uploaded a lot of videos. Well, not a lot of videos. I think I uploaded. I uploaded two or three videos this month, which results in more watch time hours. So I was really proud of increasing that. So we did good. Um, savings. It didn't really happen this month. Savings did not happen this month. And I'm not going to come on here and I'm not going to lie. It just did not happen this month. A lot of bills a lot of responsibility and like I told you guys living in Canada right now don't do it <laughs> don't do it so well I shouldn't say it I guess what I meant to say was I didn't save as much as I wanted to however I did start back cash envelopes which is something is better than none and i felt like cash envelope if you look at my previous videos i was able to stick to that format of saving because the cash is at home if i'm out in public <laughs> i'm out in public i got the cash to spend so let's just move on to that um, I had like keep up with documents like doctor's appointment. I looked to see if my IDs were expired. None of them were expired. Um, and I did follow up with a few doctor's appointment and you guys had seen that I went to the doctor in my last vlog. So that was good. Felt really great. In terms of career, my career goal is not really a monthly goal. It's like something that I'm working towards into the new years however i do still have to work on it monthly weekly daily so i did apply to job positions i did get interviews but 
I felt like I was just applying but I wasn't really looking and I was like okay this job is clearly offering way less than I make right now so why leave so another personal goal was go for dinner like bake I did not go out for dinner this month with friends um, and I did not bake anything so I didn't really like stick to the goal this month and I'm not really mad at it because those are like little things that I can still work on um, I did mention to you guys I wanted to decorate for fall and I did that I did that I decorated for fall so yes kudos to me um, I did also mention that I wanted to get fall candles which I did it's coming it's coming in previous in a next vlog this is one of them girl we already so I did to that now the fitness aspect I just wanted to like break down and go through more thoroughly so the fitness aspect was for the month of september i had put worked out twice a week work out twice a week meal prep lose two pounds that's what i had put for my fitness i'm gonna say i did meal prep which i am a hundred percent proud of i was able to work out just once a week didn't follow through a hundred percent but at least i just i didn't just like say like forget it and not work out at all I still showed up for myself a little bit not as much as I wanted to but a little bit however well all that being said I did start intermittent fasting I started back in September so before I believe I was doing a 10-hour fast and I forgot like the eating gap right now I've pushed it to 16, 8. So I'm fasting for 16 hours and then I'm eating for 8 hours. And I've noticed such a tremendous difference. I am full quicker. I have more energy. Um, mental clarity is there. Um, of course, don't try it because I'm trying it. Speak to your doctor. Do not. I don't recommend you jumping into intermittent fasting, especially when you have like health conditions. Speak to your doctor before you do. What I'm trying to say is I am really proud of myself for starting back intermittent fasting. And I started back slowly and now I'm like all in. And I'm really proud of myself for that. I haven't stepped on a scale because I don't want to step on a scale. And I don't want to get discouraged because if I don't see a particular number, I know I'm going to feel discouraged. So right now, we're going to check back in at the end of October and I'm going to give you guys a more realistic update. I just feel like I just started back to intermittent. I just started back intermittent fasting. I just started back meal prepping. And I just started back like working out once a week and I know I'm gonna lose um, water weight before I lose actual weight and I'm just trying to be really realistic with myself and also I'm just trying to be more delicate with myself so I said I'm going to work out twice a week but all in all I'm really happy with how my fitness went this month like I said, I did not hop on the scale to measure if I really lost those two pounds. But I know me starting back to intermittent fasting and meal prepping and just trying to be more active. I'm really proud of me because prior to September, there was just a lot of mental obstacles in the way. And... Um, I had moved out of my old apartment at the end of March and I wasn't really settled yet. I had to find a new apartment and things were a little bit chaotic. It took me, I'm not going to lie to you guys, and this is just me being real. 
it took me i moved in this apartment moved in this apartment in may and it took me july and august to really fully settle so the journey on my printout here i have this little section that says why why am i doing monthly reset videos and i'll tell you why number one i put here improve the quality of my life number two i put have a set routine number three i put improve health and weight loss and the last one is improve vocabulary i guess i had put read one book and the purpose of me reading a book is just to keep my vocabulary sharp, introduce new words. Okay. Let's get on to the October monthly reset. Let's talk about it. Okay, first category is YouTube. The goal for October is to hit 1,060 subscribers. And I know it's going to happen. I know it's possible. And that is my goal for this month. And the goal is to hit 30 more, which will bring us to 60. So let's do it. If you are new here, Help your girl get to that goal. Anyways, another goal of mine for YouTube for the month of October is to get more engagement. Like I said, um, I want to connect more. Um, I want to see more comments. And then I have another goal, which is to increase watch hours. And how are we going to increase watch hours? obviously upload longer vlogs and not spend a lot of time on youtube shorts which brings me to my next point youtube shorts my goal is just to upload three shorts videos a week we're not really going to spend a lot of time on those because how do i plan on increasing my watch hours if i'm dedicating so much time on a video that's like 10 or 20 seconds long it's just not gonna get us to our goal you know i just have to be very and the reason why i said three videos a week is because because prior i used to upload shorts like every single day and i just got like burnt out and discouraged so i just need to upload three shorts videos a week just to reach different audience and we're gonna stick to uploading two videos a week Sundays and possibly Thursdays we'll see girls I'm still indecisive about those days so yeah okay so another thing that I have here is averaging so I want my vlogs to average about 50 to 80 views per video and i feel like i need to be more specific because i believe in manifestation so right now i think i'm about 25 to about 40 views per video it just all depends but i would say on average it's about 25 views and for the month of October, I want to bring up those views, bring up the numbers, which means if I have to post on my Instagram, if I have to tell friends and I have to tell family, then that is the case. And my last goal for YouTube for that for the month of October is to just have fun. Like don't do anything. Do not put it put out any videos unless I'm having fun of personal goals here I have read one new book this month book my eye exam get blood work done book gynecologist um, exam bake a low calorie treat and I just feel like listen it's almost Halloween time 
I'm definitely gonna utilize my uh, my baking book and we're gonna get a recipe going so that is on my list for uh, the month of October I have for career wise apply to jobs I want to go on two interviews this month just to kind of get us in the right headspace and to get us interview ready if that makes any sense and my goal is to save six hundred dollars this month i'll tell you guys why well you'll you'll see and for self-care and fitness i have workout twice a week meal prep lose three pounds intermittent fasting for 16 8 fast for 16 hours eat for eight the eight hour window you're not going to eat all eight hours journal get nails done whiten my teeth and do a facial and the reason why i say get nails done i the last time i got my nails done was probably in july i haven't gotten my nails done every time i call the nail salon she's booked busy and they're so far away so i want to really dedicate the time to just take care of myself this month and work on my goals so the big why for this month is why we have okay why are we working on the monthly reset it's the same thing like September I added two or three new points I will tell you do those two or three new points is being very being the best version of myself internally and externally I just wanted to add and another thing I want to add is work on my dreams, like, which is YouTube. Don't let that little dream die because people don't see your vision. Don't let your, don't let your passion die. Don't let that dream die because other people don't see your vision. Like me, for example, when I would make, when I first started out making YouTube videos, like people would laugh, like, I remember one time I made a workout video and everyone was just laughing <laughs> but I just found it funny and I'm like if I could do that video again I would do it the same damn way like but to me the the bigger picture was people are always gonna have something to say about you people are, are always gonna come on the internet and c critique your life um, and speculate how you're living, what you're doing, they're going to have something negative to say about you. But do not take it personal. Keep doing you and keep showing up for you. If somebody else finds your videos boring, if somebody else finds your, your lifestyle ghetto, that's their opinion. Do not let people tell you how you should live your life and what you should be because they lack a vision they don't have god didn't put this vision in their head he put it in your head and that's why you keep making those youtube videos and that's why you keep showing up you're not giving up it was meant for them it was meant for you